Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for joining us on the channel today and checking out this episode. Right, okay. Look at these. These are a bit nice, aren't they? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so but, uh, we'll uh, get on to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so uh, this week is Mental Health Awareness Week in the UK. So it was uh, from Monday the 15th to Sunday the 21st of May. Now, I would have liked to have got this video a little bit earlier, but um, just other things have sort of kind of got in the way, so I had to do it. Well, I had to do it before the uh, before uh, Sunday's over, else um, it kind of defeat the object, wouldn't it? Um, so, yeah. So, Mental Health Awareness Week in the UK. So... As I said, also, I tried to get a video out early in the week, but it was impossible. So what I did do is I did post up my previous video I did, or one of my previous videos from about two years ago, which was uh, How RC Cars Saved My Life. Now, if no one's seen that one yet, I will put a link to that video in this description. And uh, it's well worth checking out. And I've always said if that video helps one person or any of the videos that I have done on mental health um, and health awareness, if it helps just one person, then that video has done its job. So yeah, so uh, check that out if you haven't already seen it. But um, I do like to keep, uh, you know, on top of these things. And uh, mental health is obviously very important. And you say, well, what's that got to do with the RC community? Um, well, it's probably got a lot, really, uh, to do it in some cases. Now, how many of us out there use this hobby and maybe all the similar things as as a way of as escapism, um, a way to keep our mind occupied, and um, you know do these other things to sort of maybe help with the other stresses and other anxieties and the way we're feeling. Help sort of uh, not squash it down and, and forget about it, but at least give us some respite uh, from those problems. Uh, and allow us to sort of focus on something that's uh, a positive thing in our lives. So um, yeah, RC thing is a big uh, RC is a big part uh, in a lot of people's uh, lives in this community. Certainly in mine, uh, this whole YouTube channel that I started was was done out of sort of one boredom <laughs> in enjoying lockdown when that first all started, and also to to keep me going and give me something to do. And uh, I've, uh, I may can no um, bones about it. I've struggled with mental health now since 2009, 2010. I think it was roughly then. So, you know, and it, it's been a constant thing since. So, you know, you have your, your ebbs and flows and whatnot, but generally it's still, uh, we're still, still battling it. So, you know, and even, even this hobby, itself as as positive and fantastic as it is even i um have uh struggle with um with things in the hobby uh that then sometimes can get me down but luckily having the hobby it, it, it does manage to uh to pick me up and keep on going um there was a uh, for example earlier this week now you know i, I do a lot of um obviously buying cars in doing videos with them, selling them on, the, and I hate it. I hate having to sell my cars on, but it's the only way I can keep this, uh, the channel going in some respects, you know. Um, not in every sense, but I do do a lot of it, and I do enjoy it. But the problem I have is I get attached to them. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you do out there as well. But then having to to go and decide what's got to be moved on to carry on doing what I'm doing. Um, I, it really sh sort of stresses me out. <laughs> it gives me really bad anxiety um, in places. And it gets me really down in the dumps as well, knowing that I know I, I can't really uh, justify or afford to keep all the cars that I get in. But then having that choice to, what do I get rid of? What do I get rid of? It drives me up the wall and uh so at the beginning of this week when i was deciding what i was doing that it was really um you know i couldn't stop thinking about it it was pecking away at my head all day 
and every day, day after day, until I've, I've certainly only just managed to get my head around it. Um, so th there's there's things like that, you know. Um, there's there's things like that that um, that can affect you, you know. Uh, also, as well, again, another example of how awesome this hobby is. Now, I, um, without obviously, I don't want to go into detail because it's it's not for this it's not for this video. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, we have uh, we have, we have a few issues with our uh, our lad, our teenage lad. Uh, he's only just turned eighteen, and um, you know, there's lots of things going on in the background. You know, uh, that have been for a good while now. It's been really difficult. Um, you know, as I'm sure, I'm not going. I'm so to say, I'm not going into details with that because, well. It's, it's it's not it's not information that needs to be put out there why uh, worldwide on the internet for a start um but as i said um, but this hobby allows me to um you know leave that behind and concentrate on something else you know but as in, again um even going back further uh you know, was it about january time i did a video called disillusioned with rc um, and at the time, I was really struggling with, you know, with the uh, how the world was out. How you know, there was like a, people are struggling to buy things to survive, and they still are now. And here's me like going blowing an X amount of money on a on a on a car and whatnot. And it's like, how can I justify that? I mean, I've got my head around it a bit more now, and I'm a bit more chilled about it. And I do try and do things to help other people when I can. So. I'm kind of like getting my head around that, but it really, really was weighing on me really bad from about late November last year uh, into this year, into January, February, maybe even March, and it was just took its toll on me really. Um, so yeah, as you say, you know, also again, I feel like I'm telling my life story. Um, very uh, good, good news, but uh, you know, we're expecting our third child this year. Uh, me and my wife, so that's ace. But and then you get a whole lot of new, uh, you know, say fears and anxieties and things coming. And if you're not haven't got great mental health, it it, it doesn't help. You know, um, I say I you know I, I I've been back to the doctors twice recently about it. Um, to try and get help with it, uh, sort of like medication wise and, and stuff like that. So yeah, so you know, I'm not going to rub it on any more about it because I didn't want to go on for ages and ages. But I just, you know, with it being Mental Health Awareness Week, it was just a bit of a, a reminder. And uh, hello to everyone out there who maybe doesn't have the best mental health in, in the, uh, you know, in the world. It might be a, a short time thing, or it could be a long time thing, uh, a long term thing, I should say. Um, but don't don't suffer in silence that's that's the thing i've done it i probably still do it at times as well if i'm honest um i find it difficult to talk sometimes so but uh there are people that are willing to listen so uh you know even if it's a friend family member i know it sounds all a bit cliche because it's what everyone says but don't suffer in silence now i've had people in the community and the RC community that have messaged me and that is great or they've watched one of the videos that I did and they said oh I'm so glad you did that video you know that's what it's about so there are people that are willing to uh, to talk and I'm quite happy to if someone gives me a message if uh, you know I'm not always the quickest at replying but I will try and reply and help also uh, I'll put a link in to uh, the Facebook group it's the, uh, it's the radio control mental health appreciation um group um so i can't remember if i got that entirely right so i do forget sometimes but i will put a link to their facebook group massive group and uh, lots of people talking about um how rc has helped their mental health and vice versa and it, you know if they've got a worry or a problem they can can they can leave messages on that facebook group so i will do that as well Right, also, just quickly before I go, you can see, well, why have you got these cars on the table? Well, um, these have been loaned to me in the channel by a friend of mine called Lee Chorley. He's a, a racer, does a lot of vintage racing. 
and he said would I like to showcase these buggies on the channel so I thought yes please um, so here we go here they are so I'm not sure I'm doing it just yet there'll either be a video on each vehicle or a video on two of them a video on one uh, I don't know yet I haven't decided but basically we've got here all these are iconic RC uh, vintage uh, legal for racing there's a lot of the clubs and events follow the icon iconic RC uh, rules so these are all legal for those events. We have got here a Tami the Top Force, a Kyosho Ultima, and a Losi Triple X4. Now the rules in four-wheel drive for Iconic have just been raised. Uh, I think the year has been upped from, usually the cutoff year is 1998. Now I can't remember now, because um, again, my memory is shocking. If it's been boosted up to 2001 or to 2004, I will have to double check that. Um, but they've, they've allowed four-wheel drives a bit more uh, room. Now, whether that will happen in two-wheel drive, we don't know yet. The cutoff is still 1998. Anyway, uh, so all we'll there is, we'll, we'll get these back on the channel and we'll have a look on. But they are, I can tell you now, they're immaculately prepped. Uh, Lee does his homework. He makes and builds a good uh, buggy and they are well uh, maintained and they go and well as well as well as lee being a, a really good driver anyway so we'll get these back on the channel soon but i just thought we'd put them here a bit of rc porn for you there um yeah so right i'm gonna uh, go now uh, cheers for checking this video out much appreciated as always now if you can um if you haven't already please continue uh, continue please consider subscribing to the channel it's much appreciated and uh, if you haven't already a uh, massive Thumbs up if you can do. Uh, I'd love it. And there'll be uh, loads of content coming. Uh, we've got all the content we've done previously on RC. Loads more RC stuff coming as well. And I do all the stuff with like classic Land Rovers and things and mental health when I can. So that will be coming. Um, so yeah, also as well, come find us on Andy Robinson RC on Facebook and Instagram. Just type that in and you'll find us as well. Right, uh, I'm going to go. So uh look after yourselves and uh, maybe if you can just give a friend a message just check on them see how they're doing it doesn't take that long to do at all and uh, yeah okay so that's it for this one take care uh be good look after yourselves and we'll see you all soon on the next one see ya